It's hard to believe that we are this far into 2019 already. 2018 was definitely a full year from start to finish. And we definitely got a good amount of rain, especially starting at the beginning of the year all the way to spring. And then July came and then we had no, no rain. rain at no rain. all. And then rain came again at two hurricanes and the rain just keeps going on and off and it's actually muddy outside right now from all the rain and especially the mud and having to walk around the farm and do different things on here just makes me frustrated makes me want to punch something <laughs> <laughs> those, those are actually Micah's gloves and it's pretty cute seeing him. He's like a big hands and this little body running around is kind of funny. <laughs> we recently added a new 100 foot caterpillar tunnel out in the main market garden just to help with dealing with the rain and just being able to manage things better and it will also help us to be able to extend our season which means we're going to be starting greens much sooner and being able to grow them much longer and if you missed the video I'm going to be doing an ongoing series about growing greens year round so make sure you stay tuned for that because each week I'm going to be releasing a video talking about what I'm doing each week for growing greens year round because that is a big goal of mine for the farm for 2019. Yes. We've also constructed this, we actually put back up this year since it got knocked over this greenhouse and we're actually going to be recovering it pretty soon and actually raising it up a little bit, just making it a little bit easier to work in. So that's a project coming up pretty soon too and we'll have a video on that so make sure you stay tuned for that too. But in addition to greens and our greenhouses, we're also going to be growing tomatoes and squash and cucumbers and eggplants and also our root crops, radishes and beets and carrots and things like that. So we're going to be sharing that with you as well because we're looking to do even more this year than we did in 2018. And we hope to share that with you. So uh, let us know some of the things that you're planning to grow for 2019. Uh, some of the other things that we've been doing, our, our property is on a slope, so really been working on terracing the land so that way we can work the farm or work the garden areas more efficiently and expand in certain areas. So I look forward to really being able to maximize that. And I'm excited that Mike built me a raised bed so I can grow my medicinal herbs and show you guys how to dehydrate them and turn them into body care products, medicine, all kinds of stuff. I'm looking forward to it. Also in that garden, she's looking forward to doing some of the neat flowers from Baker Creek. So I'm, yes. I'm pretty excited yes. about that. I am one of those weird guys that really likes flowers. So I look forward to seeing the flowers. Just something to do. <laughs> he is weird, see? <laughs> I guess he gets around me. Huh. Probably both of us. <laughs> Also in 2018, we increased our duck flock to just around 60. Uh, I don't think we'll take on any more ducks than that going into 2019. Uh, but I do look forward to just kind of uh, refining the areas and systems that I have for our ducks. Uh, for our chickens, we didn't do much with the chickens in 2018. But this year, I plan to increase them by 75 or 100 chickens. We'll see where we're going to go because our demand for eggs, especially chicken eggs, for our customers are, is pretty high. So yeah. look forward to seeing what we can do to service them just a little bit better. Mm -hmm. uh, also, our dogs, puppies. 2018, we had a neat experience of being able to raise puppies for the first time and it's pretty neat. And as they've been able to get new homes, it's been pretty exciting. And it's also been neat to see the kids working with them. They're doing a great job, especially Salo, working with her, working with the puppy. She's, uh, she definitely has the, the authoritative characteristic to be able to to uh, keep her puppy in place yeah. <laughs> so there you go in 2019 I look forward to doing some experiments with the dogs using the premier one fencing to connect them to the ducks and the chickens so that way they can be extra protection extra guard guard dogs for predators discouraging them from coming around and just being like I said extra protection for our birds so uh, we do have the electrified fencing which will give a predator a shock but also having a dog nearby will also discourage any predators from coming by 
maybe you can pack that punch. Where's that punch at? <laughs> that electrified fencing will knock a punch in there. <laughs> it didn't even make a Hulk noise that time. I gotta, whoa, yeah. oh, what is, <laughs> it did that time. <laughs> Next time, let's do here. <laughs> Not here. <laughs> Well, that's pretty much it for the farm. We just look forward to just growing on <laughs> in 2019 and growing more. And as far as other areas, we're definitely setting goals in other areas of our lives. Uh, for especially fitness, we're into the fitness, as many of you know, who follow us on a regular basis. And for those of you who don't, make sure you subscribe so you can keep up with what we're doing. Uh, 2018 I dealt with a lot of issues as far as adrenals being up and down and just having times where just was doing too much and put too much of a load on my body and stressing it out where it was just not feeling great so uh, really working on that and continue to work on that going into 2019 and uh, just making sure I take the supplements that I need to I get plenty of exercise that's not my problem so my problem is making sure that I get plenty of rest and, mm -hmm. and downtime so I'm gonna to try to do a little bit better job on that and also just managing the stress I'm a pretty intense guy so if you haven't noticed. I have these expectations and this drive so I just have to sometimes just scale those back just a little bit and then whew, yeah breathe stuff like that so uh, yeah what about your your fitness goals and well recap from 2018 to going into 2019 one of my health goals for this year is just to feel better. Um, you know, I deal with some food sensitivities and gut issues that I've had for a long time. And uh, yes, I've tried lots and lots of things, but this year it's just focused more on just feeling better and actually getting back into working out too. I've kind of gotten away from that um, with some other issues here and there. So that that's that's my my goal for this year. Sounds good. Get far fit. <laughs> <laughs> so alrighty, we've covered the farm, we've covered fitness, and next is family, since that's another major area and area that we set goals in for our family. It's our family. <laughs> and 2018, we were able to go to a lot of neat places to see a lot of neat things that we hadn't had the opportunity to see or do before. And among those was at the end of the year we were able to go to the homesteaders of america conference yeah and once again see justin and rebecca rhodes we it hadn't was, seen them in a long yeah. time it was nice getting to see them again and we also got to meet rosemary from wholesome roots for the yeah. first time and connect with a lot of other neat youtubers homesteaders who are out there and that was really neat we got to see uh like, jake from white house on the hill that's where we met the hollers for the first time in person um who else a bunch of people it was really nice yep we can't get away from doug we saw him doug and stacy there again <laughs> yeah. yeah actually you're probably thinking i can't get away from mike <laughs> probably we're following him everywhere he goes him and stacy <laughs> but in addition to that the kids also really loved it before I move before I move on I want to say that the kids really love being at the homesteaders of America conference too and they mm -hmm. were just playing with other homestead kids it was neat to see oh, them yeah. doing yeah it was a lot of fun who is that there <laughs> yes how are you <laughs> you can go all the way through there yeah. Wow. All the way down to the end of the train. You're waving too? <laughs> There's a lot of kids here. Wow, you're up there now. <laughs> it's fun. Hey, Micah. But in addition to traveling to seeing some of these neat places around the country, it was also really neat to see a place right down the road, and that was the Renaissance Festival. And we had an absolute blast there as a family. And Ben even came to join us. Yeah, And he I really, did. really love the music there. It's just neat. It takes you back. Back in time. Way back. <laughs> And we got to see a lot of the neat areas where they did some of the crafts and replicated how they do some of the clothing, 
just a really neat learning experience at the same time. It was, the clothing, how they dye, the fabrics, it was, it was really, really neat. And Sayla really liked seeing the mermaid there. That was pretty neat. To see yeah, the, the she got her picture taken with the mermaid. She did. Also, I really liked seeing the jugglers and they were juggling fire. That was pretty cool. They were really cool. And the boys really liked it too. Oh yeah, <laughs> they couldn't take their eyes off of them. <laughs> Alright guys, ready? Alright, I'm going to show you guys a few tricks. Here we go, let's see if this works. Woo! Now remember, this is for your entertainment, not mine. Yeah! So please enjoy yourself. Follow. Cool. Watch the back. Woo! Yeah! Woo! Yeah! Woo! Yeah! Ninja flips. This is usually where they flip out of my hand. Never done that before. Only one more thing about the Renaissance Festival. We really like seeing the jousting too. And we actually did a video on that. So if you haven't checked it out, make sure you do. So that's pretty cool. I'll put a link right up there. But for 2019, we have schedule is filling up pretty quickly on the number of the events that we plan to yes. go to in 2019. It sure is. Let's see. We're going to plan to go to the Baker Creek again for the spring planning festival. The first weekend in so May, the first Saturday, uh, Sunday and Monday, we'll be there. So if any of you are planning to go to that, come on out. We'd love to meet you and hang out with you. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know if we're going to go to the Mother Earth News Fair here in Nashville or not. We'll just have to see. But uh, it'll be a few months after that. We're planning to go to, I think the first one is the Homesteading Life Conference with yes. Doug and Stacy again. Yes. So we'll looking forward to that. And that's the first um, Sunday and Monday in August. And then once again, we plan to go to California for the National Heirloom Expo. Sayla and I had the opportunity to go last year, but this time the whole family's planning to come out. Sure so to. come on out there with us. And then we plan to go to the Homesteaders of America conference once again. Another one of our family goals is just to spend more one-on-one -on -one time with each of our children and with ourselves because, you know, we really need to spend that one-on-one -on -one time just to see where everybody's at and, and really connect as a family. That's extremely important. I definitely want to add to that because we all need it. Everyone needs connection time. You also need time where you get away from your farm, like I said earlier, and making time to have trips to do that. But we also need to find whether you're traveling or whether you're at home that you connect with one another. It's extremely important. Well, that's it for this vlog. Hope you enjoyed it. Give you a little bit of update on what we are looking forward to and where are we going, where are we plan to go from here. So let us know what are some of your goals for 2019. Mm -hmm. Let us know. And we look forward to seeing you next time. Yeah. Grow, Grow on. on. Boom. <laughs> Smash. You do what you have to do to get the shot. All right. Take 375. Feels like it. <laughs> Let's do that in slow motion. Let's see that in instant replay. Also, I really liked being able to see the du the Douglers. <laughs> Still got Doug in my head, I guess. <laughs> also. <Douglars. laughs>